I came from a world where braces did it all, but I had all these kids in my practice that never looked right. There they were, mouth breathing, tongue thrusting, and swallowing all over the place. These cases were never going to be stable. To be effective, orthodontic treatment must address the underlying myofunctional problems causing the orthodontic disorder. As far back as 1907, Edward Engel published research that showed that crowded teeth and jaw discrepancies are not hereditary, but caused by the way the child swallows and breathes. Look at this child. He is a mouth breather. There is hyperactivity of the oral musculature. A tongue thrust. Look at the arch form. It's not surprising he has an open bite and crowding. Same again. Lots of muscular activity and the resultant malocclusion. Again, that overactive mentalis. Not surprisingly, the lower arch form is completely flattened. There is no space for the canines. This is not crowding. This is the myofunctional effect on facial growth and the dentition. A normal upper arch should look like this. It forms that way because the tongue rests in the area between the upper teeth. There it counteracts the pressure of the cheeks, which would otherwise push the upper arch of the jaws in. But if a child sucks his thumb or breathes through his or her mouth for any reason, then the tongue drops from the top of the mouth and the upper arch can get pushed in. This is why it's so important that we provide patients and parents with information on suitable treatment. And the time to treat developing malocclusion is when the child is young, well before orthodontic treatment is suitable. We can establish this by understanding what causes malocclusion. Big teeth, small jaws, or poor function. Consider the research on forces exerted on the teeth by the lips and tongue. We only need 1.7 grams of lip pressure to move teeth. But in fact, the lip exerts a force between 100 and 300 grams. In addition, the tongue exerts a force of 500 grams against the anterior teeth. So clearly, the function of the lips and tongue will determine tooth position. I'm Alex and I'm 11 years old. I breathe through my nose and my tongue position is correct. And when I swallow, you can't see my lips move. Guess what? I have perfectly straight teeth and properly developed jaws. See how wide my top jaw is? That's normal. You rarely see this correct arch form and correct dental alignment. However, this is what you want to achieve after treatment. Dr. Chris Farrell and MRC are committed to the prevention and treatment of malocclusion through non-intrusive retraining of the oral musculature and the elimination of bad oral habits. Through the past decade, they have designed, developed and manufactured a range of innovative and highly effective dental appliances. The trainer system has helped thousands of children and their parents in Europe, the USA, Asia and Australia. The trainer has several key features. It is a tooth positioner, myofunctional trainer and jaw positioner. The tooth channels and labial bows impart a constant force on the anterior teeth when it is in place to encourage their correct positioning. The child will notice a light force on the teeth as soon as it is put in place. Tongue position and incorrect swallow is a major cause of orthodontic problems. The trainer has a tongue tag for the proprioceptive positioning of the tongue tip. The tongue guard prevents a tongue thrust swallow when in place, a training process for the tongue. Lip bumpers or mentalis stretchers to stretch and deactivate mentalis contraction associated with a tongue thrust swallow. Class 1 edge-to-edge -edge bite is achieved, the same as in many functional appliances. 
It is used for pre-orthodontic correction of mode of breathing and mandibular position. The double mouth guard forces the child to breathe through the nose, a training process to change the mode of breathing and to correct mouth open posture, which is so detrimental to horizontal mandibular growth. This is the Trainer for Kids or T4K, get it? The Trainer for Kids is designed for kids my age and younger before orthodontic treatment. It helps correct the cause of tooth and jaw development problems. You use the blue or green one first. I prefer blue. It's quite soft and very flexible, so it can adapt to your mouth. Then, after six to eight months, you use a harder one. These are pink or red, and boys prefer the red one. If you have to go into braces, you can use a different trainer specially designed for that, the trainer for braces or T4B. The idea of these trainers is that they correct the muscles as well as the teeth and they train you to breathe through your nose as you should. You have to use a trainer every day or it will not work, but that's not hard, especially if you want to grow up with straight teeth and looking good. I do, don't you? Then I found the trainer system. I introduced it to my patients and every kid got better. I can use this on all my cases.